What's happening to the nation? Mario at the house. Week three, day one is in the books. My wife's claws and stuff. You see what we did? Make sure you let these air out. Always make sure you let those air out. All right. Because uh, if you don't, they're getting mildewy and funky. And you don't want that. Also, with the gloves, kind of keep them open. Um, when I do my gloves, I don't strap them down. Leave them open. You can buy deodorizers. I probably will buy some here soon. Santa Bowl has deodorizers. And that's like a, that's, for those ones that are before somebody says anything like, oh, that's cheap box gloves. You're not serious. If you just not getting into it and you don't know if you want, well, it can go either way. If you're not serious, don't buy expensive gloves. That's asinine. That makes no sense. You're wasting money because you're not going to really do anything about it, you know, with it getting to it like that. Also, if you are new, you know, buying really nice, expensive, fancy gloves. It's not going to make you a better boxer. You're new. You're going to be exhausted. You're going to be put through it. It's a lot you're going to have to learn, man. It's a lot you have to do. Your footwork's going to be trash. Your, uh, you on the speed ball. Um, it's going to be trash. The double bag, double end bag is going to be trash. You'll do all right on, on the... <laughs> You'll do all right on the heavy bag, but I think everybody kind of does all right on the heavy bag. <clears throat> uh, uh, until you realize you, you got to throw, you throwing more punches. And it's like, whoa, wait a minute. Now I'm, I'm fatigued. Like, shoot, like, wait a minute. I just, I'm, I'm hitting it. I should not be, yeah, you, yeah, it's a lot of energy throwing punches, especially if you want to throw a good punch and make solid connection. Uh, if you're trying to throw a flurry punches, you can get tired. Like, it's, once you actually get into it and you get serious, you realize it's a lot different than what you thought it was. You know, you see the cool stuff that may work. That look cool. But the conditioning and the physical, the conditioning and the athleticism that it takes to even pull that off, you gotta it's a it's a ways to go. It's it's a lot of work, man. It's it's um it's not for the faint of heart, so I'm just uh, proud of myself for pushing past week two. And when it hurts, just saying, I right, get it, you know, go. Because uh, today, you know, we did a sled. We had a sled. And after doing the sled, and here's, here's the crazy part. We was doing a sled, but that was the last thing we had to do in, in the circuit for for me and uh, my team. Well, my uh, we pair up in groups. So the group I'm in, me and this other dude, uh, I think his name is Gil. We uh we're out there. We're just pulling sleds. We're pulling sleds, and it's to the point where it's like I'm not running no more. I'm just like ugh, ugh. I want to stop, and I'm like no power through, power through. And I'm like I'm like we've been out here for a while. We 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 bro, we've been out here for a while, man. We somebody should have came and got us. And sure enough, we had been out there for a minute, and they they almost forgot about us. But it's all good, man. So uh, it'll help for it'll help with conditioning and um. Next time I go training. So, man, it's, uh, it's about being serious. You know, I had last week, um, I had a situation where I had to train in the morning because I missed that night. I was in Rockwall, stuck in Rockwall. Rockwall and I could have said, no, nah, let me get to sleep. But I'm serious, you know. Um, at this point, it's not even how much I'm spending the month on, on the gym, on, on being a membership. It's, it's wanting to see myself be the best person I can be physically um I've achieved I've done pretty well mentally you know um I'm an engineer um I do well but physically I you know I don't feel like I'm I'm, I'm there I don't feel like um I'm the best I can be and I can see it you know when I go to buy clothing or when I look in the mirror with my shirt off it's like eh. and also you know being type 2 diabetic no you know it's, it's not there so if you start and you feel like, dang, I want to quit, I want to quit, I want to quit, and you push through, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Push through. Keep pushing through. You're going to feel like you want to quit. Oh, man, you're going to feel like you want to quit. Like, you're going to be working. Like, I feel tanked. I feel gassed, but you keep doing it. 
And week three becomes week four. Week four becomes week five. Week five becomes week six and seven and eight. And then you start noticing, oh, I'm, I'm throwing more punches. You feel, I think I'm feeling gas, but you're putting in more work. You're throwing more punches. Like this time, on uh, last week on the heavy bag, I might throw one, two combination. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. This week, boom, boom. Step in, boom. Step in, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. Then I might feel like I need to rest. For a second, like, oh, let me catch my breath. Because uh, you got to learn how to exert. But then bring in, bring in that air so you're not just exerting, exerting, and exhaling all the time. And you're not breathing in oxygen because now you're just creating lactose and you're not, doing, you're not doing anything to counter that. Hey, you're not even getting oxygen for your, just for, for moving. Now you're like, <sighs> you're just throwing punches and you're tired. So it's, it's all of it's the science behind boxing. It's it's a it's a it's a technical it's a technical sport and if you get dedicated and you're real serious, I don't know, I ain't gonna show you my you know, so I got man titties. Now when I start getting the chest and I I do the full on body, you know. But uh once you you stay in it, man, and you start getting you'll notice you you're not as tired. You throw you may feel tired but you're like, Oh, I threw more punches. And I threw my punches accurately. You'll be on a double in bag. For like I said, my first, um, also if you can still see it, that scar right there. And um, I think I, okay, I didn't cut, I didn't, I didn't break my skin this time. Um, on double in bag, you might be throwing a hook, and then you miss the double in bag, or it rolls around, and you scrape your arm. It's just part of it. You you learn to control your power and your speed, and be more technical, and and pop it. In a certain way, where you can make contact, and you're not necessarily rolling off of it, uh, because the double end bag is easy to try to punch it and roll or roll off of it. So it's just so much. Uh, there's so much to learn, and I'm more than willing to learn it. So, the next time you guys, peace and blessings. I say.